what is SAP MDK? The full form of MDK is Mobile Development Kit. So, if you see that the hybrid application which we develop doesn't bring the native experience of the device, which means the application is basically running on top of Cordova. So, our application is coded in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Cordova providing the runtime environment to interact with the mobile. But it doesn't give the native experience. Just one example of that could be the bottom buttons. So, if you see in a mobile device, usually we have the buttons at the bottom of the screen like the back button or open app button these buttons are not supported with cordova application so like this there may be also many experience experience experiential changes which might not work with the cordova application that is why sap offers the next approach or the successive approach to develop mobile native experience with the application called mdk so if you see the most of the documentation these days SAP recommend to use MDK over the Cordova development. However, let me tell you with my experience, both approaches coexist today. Though SAP give more precedence and preference to MDK development, is still the Cordova approach makes more sense because we can leverage the existing code. Our existing investment, our existing fury which we had built, we can leverage and reuse that when it comes to Cordova development. So maybe one good approach can be that in your company you start uh, you start the mdk development if you already have a cordova application do not discard it or if you have just a fury app and business is looking a mobile experience immediately convert it to a cordova app deliver it to the business and maybe slowly start developing mdk application in parallel and then later on in a longer run replace the cordova with mdk if necessary However, being with the Cordova is not a great disadvantage. You can also continue to use your existing Cordova applications. So it's my duty as a trainer to teach both as part of this training. Up to you to decide what strategy you want to adopt in your company. At least as far as my company is concerned, we are not changing anything when it comes to building with applications. We are still living, living up to the Cordova application. We are not changing anything uh, in our company. We are having code of application and we are continuing to use that. Okay, so let's talk about what is MDK. <coughs> the SAP Mobile Development Kit. Or so called in short MDK. Enables developers to build multi-channel application. It allows us to build our application once and in an integrated development environment which is known as mobile cockpit. I will show you how to set up mobile cockpit in a minute. MDK cockpit, SAP mobile cockpit that's our development environment plus sap business application studio which is a development tool and run it natively on mobile devices android and ios and as a online web application also so same application can work in the browser in in the web browser is an online application and the same application can also work with the android and ios so this is the advantage now what are the top use cases <clears throat> the first is to build multi-channel application multi-channel means on different platform browser and devices so mdk provide a very powerful and performance of native application so what it does behind the scene it generates the metadata and javascript code in the editor which is translated to native device code 
automatically at runtime. So the, this conversion to the native device code happens at runtime, not at design time. So you write the code and this code then converted to Android APK at runtime in Android device in iOS APK or iOS specific uh, language in iOS devices. So we build actually our application only once. So in, 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 in general, the business might ask you, do you need to write different code for different platforms? The answer is no. MDK allows you the approach through which you can build native and Android iOS application without uh, duplicating the coding effort. So we will use SAP mobile service in the SAP BTP to do that. So your end user can be Android and iOS and they can leverage it. The same metadata which is generated can also be deployed to the web to run same app in the browser. That's an advantage you get with MDK. Then deploy updates easily. Second advantage. So you'll be able to deploy your uh, application changes quite easily in SAP BTP platform. So we can easily update our application with a few clicks. So our application can be updated in just a few clicks. So while going through the, uh, also we don't need to worry about the signing process. Remember in the last episode, I showed you how to sign your Android APK before deploying it to the Android, uh, Android store, right? So we don't have to worry in this case, signing of our application. The MDK client connects to SAP mobile service and update the application content also automatically. So SAP provide an SAP MDK client application which end user needs to download and use to run the app. So our end user need to download the MDK client in their mobile devices which is available both on Android and iOS stores and then they will connect to our application through that and this MDK client will automatically also update the content of the application. So the update will be done automatically by the MDK client. The MDK web application anyway gets updated automatically when the web page is refreshed. The third step, we can customize and extend the application with reusable component. So we can reuse reusable components or standalone apps that can include pages actions, rules, and global variables. As a standalone application, they can be built, tested, and updated separately from the main and primary MDK app. So this provides us a easy way to customize and add on and extend the functionality of our primary app without any disruption. So these are the three advantages of SAP mobile development kit. So let's go ahead and see how can we set up our MDK environment to be able to leverage this MDK for our application. So I will be focusing today on the setup and in the next subsequent episodes, we will be learning more stuff.